Welcome to this new map, Map Tour on Farming Simulator 19, with me, Mr. Sealy P. Welcome to La Coronella. It's been a couple of days for me to get onto this. Um, I put it back out um, and um, I haven't been on anything until yesterday. And this is taking me a little while to get my head round. This is the brilliant new map by Shabba FS. It may not be everyone's cup of tea, and there are a few drawbacks. I personally think they're drawbacks that you can live with for what you actually gain. That's just my own personal opinion. You may not agree. That's up to you. Um, now, we actually start on this map. Um, let's scroll across. Start here, by the shop, not actually at the main farm. I do my map tours on um, New Farmer which I'm on at the moment. We'll go through all, you know, what do you start with, that kind of thing, in a moment. But we start down by the, sh the shop. Something worth pointing out while I'm down the shop is that um, sell points, all of the places where you can buy and sell, are all like proper stores. They have opening and closing times. Um, so you may arrive there and they may be closed and you can't actually sell or buy any products. While I was speeding up time, so we got a bit more light for doing the tour, the store here to my left opened at 8 a.m. We are facing south at the moment. We'll whiz into the store very, very quickly. This is your store for buying and selling of equipment. If you need to reset anything, if anything goes particularly wrong and you feel well, you need to reset it, it will reset here to the main store in the yard just here. This map is incredibly, incredibly detailed. There is a lot on it. There are new crop types for consoles, but I mean, I know there have been quite a few crop types in some maps already, but there are a lot of crop types and there's some additional functionality which I think is rather cool on this map. Um, so this is the store. Um, workshop is just in there but the trigger comes out round to the side so you haven't got to worry about getting vehicles inside um, and then the actual buy points there. I know you can do it from your main menu but if you want to actually if you want to be a bit more immersive and go into the store that's what you can do. Right the map itself well like I say we start at the shop. On New Farmer what do we start with? We start with the main farm here, which has got the farm silo, you've got a house, um, and you've got field number 10. And that's it. This is what the map looks like from the outside. And there is a second farm. The second farm is down here, which you can also purchase for 248000 Now, what you will notice, there are no animals on there at the moment. They are on the map. And if you drive around the map, you'll see the signpost for them. So what I'm going to do now very quickly, is we're going to cut to a map I prepared earlier, uh, which will show you where the animals are, so if you want to just kind of jump to them and buy them straight away, or if you want to tour around and find them, that's entirely up to you. Um, if you don't want to know where they are and you want to find them yourself, close your eyes now. Cut to the map um, showing the additional bits. Um, what I have done is, just for the purpose of this, um, I wanted to test out the compost plant, so I bought that. Um, as far as or where all the animals are on the main map which I've just showed you shown you showed you um, these won't be showing up at the top of the map here next to the grain station is your horses um, that plot was 196 just over 196,000 to buy that plot that gives you access to the horses um, and then um, you can do whatever you want to do there place them buy them that kind of thing or you can put them somewhere else on the map if you want to do that instead um, down here down past the bottom biogas plant we've got our pigs um, to buy that plot of land was 93,000 and that gives you the access to the pig farm that's down there they are signposted on the roads when you get to them they're some signposted and the buildings are there um, but to just to give you access to them um, you need to buy the plot of land if we keep going to our west we've got sheep which is just below the second farm and the farm silo, silo. Uh, the sheep was 117,000 to buy that plot of land there. Um, the farm I bought, um, you do get chickens at the second farm as well as you do at the main farm. I think that was 298,000, I think it was something like that to buy the, the entire second farm there. And the cow pasture is over here, just below the cooperative El Reynoso. Reynoso. Um, that was 299,000 to buy but you do get this plot of land opposite as well and that gives you access to it so like I say they won't show up on the map until you've actually bought them and I just thought it might be quicker and easier just to say look this is where they are um, should you want to find them on the map and buy those plots I haven't come across any others that's not to say there aren't and if I've missed one I do apologize um, 
but as far as I know that's it the sheep the pigs the sheep the horses the cows and the chickens yeah okay back to the normal map so there you go those are the animals that's where you can find them all on the map I think that's where you can find them all at least most of them anyway so that's the the, uh, the farm itself what are we looking at field price wise well not too bad I mean the fields are fair sizes 259,000, 283,000, 244. They all seem to be around that kind of price. A few are a little bit more expensive. There are some smaller plots. Loads of forestry to be done. Some nice big plots. And there's, I mean, a ton of forestry to be done on these. And as we drive around, you'll see in a little bit more detail. There are two biogas plants. We've got the biogas plant up here, biogas north. And then there's the biogas plant down here. Biogas North is the cheaper of the two. I think it's about 99,000, uh, 199,560. And the other biogas plant is a bit more expensive at 334,560. As with all of these things, you will need to own them before you can use them. Um, we have also got a compost plant, which we'll talk about in a bit more detail when we go over there. Um, now, it does say on uh, the website the details on this um, when selling your products you can choose from a large number of agricultural stations some of them for specific products and there are a few carpentry is your sawmill um, you've got cooperative El Barbaco uh, cooperative El Linz cooperative El I think it's Reynoso Re 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 so distribution centre Fertiland Fert Fertinella Grain Elevator, Grain Station, Haystack, Livestock, I think it's supposed to be, La Coronella, Potatoes, La Coronella, uh, Purunella, Sheep Farm, Sugar Industry, Supermarket, Swine Livestock, Textile Industry, um, there are a few. And some of them will only do very specific things. Yes, yeah, so something like uh, uh, Purunella is just milk. That's all they, they do there. If we go across until we get to it just milk a uh, supermarket will do milk and eggs um, you've got obviously potato will just do potato potatoes like coronella will only do potatoes you've got um, one of these which one is it cooperativa el Reynoso only does sugar beet um, so yeah I mean you've got very specific sell points for very specific things now this may end up being a longer map tour than you used to because there is a lot. When I say a lot, I mean a lot to take in. Um, I apologise if I miss anything. Contracts are available and there are custom transport jobs available under that. Um, we're just whizzing down here. I'm going to get a couple of these cell points in first. This is the gas. There was, there's a fuel station just here, a petrol station. Um, and to the side there is Purinella, which is your milk cell point. So those are the three cell, or the three points that are just down here. You've got your store fuel station Purinella so I thought we'd get these out of the way that way we can get up to the farm get around that and um, we'll crack on so the five crop types in addition to our standard ones we have got millet sorghum rye rice and triticale your millet sorghum rye and triticale can all be seeded using a regular seeder the rice needs to be planted using a planter however and this is another weird one. We'll go into the menu. We go across the end and I'll show you them. So we've got some different logos in here that have been put in by the map makers. Pig food and various different things. Herbicide. Um, so you've got your um, your millet, sorghum in that order. Millet, sorghum, rye, rice and triticale. The rice is the greener one. Put an arrow to that now. And we are at the top cell point, so that's the top cell point. So if we go down from rice, down through all the cell points, there's not a single cell point that takes rice. And I haven't found any use for it yet, unless any of the animals take it for some reason all of a sudden, but there's no cell point for rice. Um, there is... Um, oh, that could be why... There is a geo specific for La Coronella, so possibly with the geo on, something will pop up for there. The other thing that you probably need to know about this map is there are two versions of it. The one I'm playing on is the non-seasons version. 
there is a seasons version if you have the seasons version on it only gives you two crop types in addition you get millet and sorghum you don't get riot rice or triticale plus there are some other jobs you can do up at the farm or farms if you use the seasons version you don't get those jobs in addition to I will tell you very quickly what they are you can do cheese production you can make flour and you can make sunflower oil but you can only do that on the non seasons version um, so that's the trade-off if you want to run seasons there are a few things you can't do it won't give you the option to if you want all the extra bells and whistles um, then you're better off going with the non seasons version would be my advice advice or voice advice so what I'm going to do is whiz up to this, the main farm and we'll kind of get on from there. Bear with me one second. Okay, so we have come up the hill. Um, and I say up the hill, I, what I love about this map is there's a lot of kind of levels to it. Um, you've got a kind of rocky outcrop over, uh, further to the south with the second farm is kind of over that direction. It raises and lowers all over the place. Undulating is possibly, well, oh yeah, I suppose it's got some, it's got some good undulations. I do like that about it. So we are currently up here. So we were down there at the sell point, or buy point, sell points down there. We're now up here at the main farm. And I meant what I said, there is a lot to get through. And I, I will try and rattle through as best I can, but the detailing on here and the things that, that you find on here are just brilliant. Everything is really well signposted, which makes life much, much easier. You've got a slurry point just there. We've got a manure point just there i'd say everything's nicely signposted to be able to have access to any of the silos and the facilities on the farms you need to own the farms you have to um, so our main silo is just here up on this bit and this this um farm and the other one as well is kind of tiered as well it's all different levels it's interesting and that's what i like about it now oh did i mention the slot count and that's probably that's one of the drawbacks the drawback is on new farmer the slot count is already at 1,017 out of two, uh, 1,299. On Farm Manager and Start From Scratch, they both say 1,016. I don't know where the one slot difference is. I couldn't work it out. You do start with all the machinery and equipment on all three. Um, so it's very high on the slot count already. If you sell everything off, you can drop that down to 828. But to be fair, Geiselsberg was incredibly high, and I managed to do an entire Let's Play on that. And I'll, I'll be honest with what you gain on this and the detail and the immersive feel to it I think that's a good trade-off I, I, that's a personal opinion you'll see as we go around um, there are some nice touches a couple of things I've only ever seen Alien Jim do before that are on here but the farm is kind of split across here we've got a compost silo just down here for making compost and there is a compost plant we've got lime point and this is storage these are storage points and the great thing with these as well um, turn them on so when you want to get something out of it you need to turn that on to get it to work which is like stuff I've never seen Jim do before to open this up click it on and it'll open it up so for storage in it goes I think these are about 80,000 litres again we'll come back to the main menu um, and as we go across we've got herbicide tank 60,000 litres lime 80,000 litres pig food 500,000 litres uh, we've got storage for um, slurry, 1,200,000 uh, 1, I think that is. Uh, liquid fertiliser, 60,000. Um, solid fertiliser, 80,000. Fuel, 8,000 of each. Um, so there's there's plenty. Water, uh, is that 600,000 litres? Something like that. Yeah, so we've got, we've got plenty of storage for everything you could possibly need. and you know, But you will need to turn these machines on and off to either open and close the grate or to access whatever you've put into storage in the first place. As we come down here, we've got our storage for our liquid fertilizer. Um, we've got herbicide. We've also got potato and sugar beet storage. And that's a massive amount, I think. To actually put it into the storage, you have to come around to here. And the grates are either side. So it's sugar beet and your potato. And to get it back out, you go around to the front end. There's a lot of detail and a lot of thought has gone into this. I mean, look, a massive amount. I mean, to be honest with you, the first look could be, you know, realistically, a first look of just around the yard, and then the other one would be to go around the entire farm. Um, right, so the additional things we can do, up at the main farm here, we can make sunflower oil. 
I'm going to cut to a pre bit I've kind of done already regarding the extra crops you can do or the extra jobs you can do. Sunflower oil, cheese production and flour. And the flour is done over at the other farm but you need to own it to be able to do that. I'm going to cut to that bit of video now. So, jump to something I prepared earlier. Um, this is with regard to the production of sunflower oil, cheese and flour. Um, we are currently at the main farm here. Um, if you start on New Farmer, you own it already. Um, to use any of the silos and any of these production facilities, you need to own the farm. Um, at this main farm, this is where you can do cheese and sunflower oil. Um, as far as making cheese goes, you bring the milk here to this point here. That has to be turned on, the machine. That's the cheese making machinery. When that's turned on, that goes green and it will allow you to dump the milk here. When you've dumped the milk here, it starts producing. Now, the same as it does with animal production, um, it takes a little while. It won't automatically do it. But the cheese, if you open the door here, you can hear the machine going. Green lights on. Um, you get these. And it puts a new one down as it produces it. Once it's full, the truckle, I think they're called. Once the truckle is full, it puts a sticker on it. So you've got La Coronella. You can pick those up, load them onto whatever vehicle you want to, um, or into a trailer, or I think it because it provides you with that container for moving things, you take that and you sell it at the distribution centre, I think is where it takes the cheese, the sunflower oil and the flour. So that's where the cheese will come from. These tables are bare before you come in here. I'll show you that in a second when we go back to the, the previous cut. Um, as far as sunflowers go, I need to go right the way around here. Unloading of sunflower is done around here off the kind of the lane and there's a point there. So you unload your sunflower into there. Now this one there isn't a machine you turn on. Um, it just automatically goes into production. Um, it took a, you know, it takes a few minutes to get your head around it but if you follow the pipes <laughs> it drops it in there, the pipes come along there over the top, round to here and this door here, if you open these doors up, you get these. So these containers appear empty on this table. They'll drop out of nowhere. I did have to stand this one up. Um, you've got stickers down there, labels down there, and the containers will look like that. But they drop empty and they'll look clear and then it will gradually fill up. Once it's full, it will put a sticker on the front. That one hasn't filled up completely, but that one's got a sticker on the front. Same thing, pick that up off you go you've got your sunflower oil so that's your sunflower oil production um, as far as flour goes bear with me one second so we are now over at the other farm now the other farm main farm is up here the other farm is over here and you have to buy it again if you want to use the facilities the silos the storage what kind of stuff and you want to make flour you have to buy it you have to own it so I bought it just to you know, to show you um, if we come around the side here, this is where you can dump wheat or rye. It will only take wheat or rye. Same thing again, pipe goes over the top into here, which is kind of your production facility. And then this does it automatically, just kind of off it goes and gets working. This is kind of the production centre. And there, we've got bags of flour we can pick up and we can load so when it starts producing flour that's where the bags will come these tables are empty before um, there is also can I get through there yep I did leave it open if you come through to here it does say flour on there as well but nothing has appeared on these tables in here so far it's all been the one around the back so if you're unsure and you're wondering where the flower will come from there's no machine to turn on like so this one it does it automatically the only one that requires the machine to be turned on is the milk for some reason so yeah wheat and rye in there it starts producing it and you get bags of flour and these can all be taken to be sold at the distribution center which you will find all the way up here those are though the extra additional jobs that you can do i just thought i'd show that now what i'm going to do now is cut back to the video that i haven't recorded yet but will be recording it will all make sense when it's edited together 
Fantastic. See what I mean about this? It's going to take a while. Um, now, while, when those things are all in production, I don't think I showed it on the little video clip. If we go up here and we go across to animals, you can see there productivity, oil mill and cheese dairy. If you own the other farm as well, the flour one comes up. So when you put your crops in, it will say on the side food, sunflowers. For the cheese, it will be milk and then it will give you a productivity. Um, it will go to 100% productivity as soon as you put stuff in and then it will tell you how much of each has actually been produced as you go, pretty much like the animals. Um, but that's the screen, it'll be under animals to find your productivity for your um, sunflower oil, your cheese and your flour, if you decide to do flour as well. Um, continuing around the yard, now I've kind of already shown you these bits here regarding the cheese and the sunflower, so we don't necessarily have to do that bit again, but we've got a bit of storage, we've got plenty of barn space all over the place on here. Shelter space, machinery, tucked away all over the place. Milk storage is just here. Like well, when I said about it being layered and levelled, absolutely. Obviously there's your milk for making your cheese, we talked about that already. We've got fuel and your fuel storage, a bit more machinery and shelter space. As we come round we've got your chickens are tucked round on the end here and there are chickens up at the other farm as well. They're on the end there, so buying and selling of. And for the actual egg boxes, this, <laughs> there is so much to see. It's crazy. The egg boxes come in here. So this is where your eggs will actually appear. So whilst your chickens are that side, your egg boxes will appear here. Um, yeah. I wasn't joking when I said there's lots to see. So, your pickup's there. We're going to be using that in a moment. And your house I think it's here to sleep through the night is just there very open plan it's very sunny very sunny place don't have to worry too much about inclement weather um, as we move around the yard there's even more we've got a workshop tucked away in here very nicely Inc again incredibly detailed and you can see why the slot count is what it is um, because the level of detail is amazing it really is incredible so we've got storage here in this silo for pig food, for compost and for chaff. So we can store all of those. We've got storage for seed just here. Again, the machines need to be turned on and off. That opens it up for getting stuff out of it. I think it's round this side. So when you come up here and you want to get your seed out, you need to turn the machine on like so to get it to work. I mean, you can kind of take it as red now for any of those, for the silos and stuff. You're going to need to be turning switches on and off. More shelter space just there. I think we've got, a, is it a water point just tucked around the end here? Yep, water point just up here. I mean, there are plenty of placeable seed, fertilizer tanks, um, water stations in the mod hub, um, but this one provides it. And there are loads more around the map as well. Loads of places to buy seed, fertilizer, lime, herbicide, you know, everything which is really cool. Uh, coming down into the yard further down, we've got our harvester. I don't think this is a wash station. Might just be for for looks, I think. Uh, but this is where our harvester's parked up and our cedar that we start with is parked up here. And we've got a couple of silos here um, for putting wood chip in and for your sugar cane, if you want to store that there. Moving further around, plenty of rack space if you want to put pallets and stuff up on racks. And then we've got our lime storage point. Was that fertilizer? That might be solid fertilizer, just there. So yeah, I mean there's mountains and mountains of space for stuff. Um, like I say, it, it, it may not be for you, but I, you know, I'll show you all of it anyway. Uh, as far as what equipment do we actually start with? Under garage, we start with a Stara ST Max 105, a John Deere 6230, a Stara ST Max 180, the TX32, a pickup, small trailer, header for the TX32, and a corn header for the TX32, a 3 metre uh, Spirit R300S Cedar, we've got a sprayer, um, solid fertiliser spreader, forks, bucket. Um, or sorry, front loader attachment forks, bucket, weights and this, the MKLC8 now this is a mod that's been added in there are a couple of mods thrown into this map as well um, by the map maker if we go to, I think it's miscellaneous I hope it's miscellaneous um, yeah, we've got the MKLC8 
for 20,000 that will take all those things down the bottom so it will do uh, water, it will do milk, it will do fuel, it will do liquid fertilizer, herbicide, slurry, digestate and then you've got the box to transport objects and that's what I was talking about a little while ago when I said about the flour and the cheese and the um, the oil, the cheese and the flour, yeah so you can put them all into that to take it off yourself so you kind of throw them in the front and away you go those are provided by the mapmaker modder Shabba FS which is rather cool um, what I'm going to do is grab the pickup and let's try and get around as much of this map as we can. Sorry, this is going to be fairly long. I don't really want to have to do this in two parts. Um, all, all I would say is, I've lost the pickup. Where is it? Explore, explore the map. I will try to be quick now, so I'm going to use the pickup because it's fairly fast. So we're going to head north out the farm. I'll try and get around everything, and there's a few specific things I really do want to show. So we go north, and we can go over the little bridge here. Out the farm, over the river. There are loads of incredible details, and I say it's worth a, a bit of a look around. The landscape's fantastic. I love the fact that all the factories and the, the cell points, you've got like the steam and smoke, or pollution, whatever you want to, however you want to call it coming out of all the buildings and it's great so here we've got another of our cell points now this one is a very specific one this is specifically for um, sugarcane so this is the northern part of the map and this is sh a, a sugarcane cell point only so scroll across make sure we can get a good look at the map so this is sugar industry at the top of the map we're going to kind of work our way around I'll, like I say I'll do as much as I possibly can as you've already seen with regard to the animals the horses are just on the left there but you need to buy the plot of land to get the horses and as I said when you go around they are signposted um, but when you first come on the map you don't necessarily know where they are and if you want to get straight to them so that's just there so we've got the grain I want to get this right grain station I think it's grain station this one so a lot of the cell points especially this one grain station and the grain elevator you've got buy points for all sorts of stuff we can buy seed from here we can buy lime and fertilizer from here which is just over there um, we can buy pig food the pig food is fairly expensive it works out at well over a thousand for a thousand liters so it's pretty pricey but you can buy it if you want to the cell point is actually here, so this this is the actual cell point itself, right there. But we can also buy herbicide, and we can buy liquid fertilizer over there. So yeah, you can buy pretty much everything all around the map. So you don't have to worry about placeables if you don't want to. The, the I suppose the other downside would be then that you can't remove them if you don't want them. They're there, they're on the map, and again, that's kind of why the slot count is what it is. Um, but I'm not. I'm not going to. Not going to harp on about it. I've already said. I. I think it's worth the, the offset. Another rise off to the left-hand side. We've got one of the forests, which is up over there. The river separates them, and there's only kind of a few access points. But again, I like. I like that. I think you know it makes you go around the map. It kind of forces you to see stuff. You know. So round the roundabout just here, into the next of our cell points. Like I say these are all timed, they open and close at certain times, so this you can't really run a 24 hour operation. Now, with regards to those extra things that you can make, this is the distribution center. You can sell your um, milk, eggs, and cheese up here. I think you can do your flour, I think the flour and sunflower oil I thought you could do up here as well. We will check on the actual. Um, Selling information. I could have sworn you could do them all up here at the distribution centre. Hmm. Let's just have a quick check. Distribution centre. That one there. Scroll across. So, we go across from that side. We can do our milk and our eggs. Oh, there we go. Yeah, prices for all them. We've got our sunflower oil, we've got our cheese, and we've got our flour. Can all be sold up here at the distribution centre. Fantastic, right. Cross the road. If I can get across without hitting anything. 
the next sell point. This is for potatoes, and this is specific for potatoes only. So you've got potato sell point just here. Potato La Coronella. Now, if we take a right here, kind of goes out of our way a little bit, but this takes us up to the compost plant. Like the biogas plant. And you need to own it to be able to use it. Again, another tier. We kind of come up, you've got this walled side there. The field's up on this tiered section and the road runs down in the bit just to the left. But I think it's brilliant. So, planter de compost. I'm going to do what I did before. And I'm going to cut to a bit of a, a cut scene right now that I have pre-recorded. Okay, cut back to a little while ago. Um, at the moment, I'm sitting here in probably in the pickup. Um, but what I thought I would do is just very quickly explain. Um, this is the compost plant. And there are various different places you can store compost. Um, I think there's a couple of silos as well you can do it around the farm. But this is the main one. A bit like the biogas plant. Um, great thing about this is it kind of makes a few of these things a bit more relevant. Wood chips, uh, generally speaking, don't get paid particularly well for them. However, this planter de compost will take wood chips, it will take sugar cane, it will take manure, and it will take straw. And just like a normal biogas plant, you bring it into the bunker silo, put it down on the ground, compact it, and then once it's compacted, you cover it. Um, once it's done, you can then sell it and you get more for selling compost than you would do for selling the individual things. Um, as far as I know as well, you still get a byproduct too, which is pretty cool. So it's like a biomass plant for other things. And it just makes those crops a bit relevant. But the point I wanted to make was this. Can you bring in individual things? Because often it's you can't mix things up in silos. Well, I bought in each of the things individually. So I bought some wood chip in, I bought some uh, some straw in, and I bought some manure in. Um, I didn't put sugar cane in because once the other three had worked, it didn't matter. I loaded, I put 8,000 litres of each, and it let me put them in individually. Um, and it gives you this texture, which is like the compost texture for the time being. Um, so one part of this was straw, one part of this was manure, and the other part was wood chip. So you can mix them all up. So if you've got a load of wood chips from doing something, you might have a load of manure from somewhere and you might have a load of straw. You can bring it all, you can mix it all into one silo. It doesn't really matter. Pile it all up, compact it, ferment it and off you go. Um, so yeah, the compost um, plant, fantastic. I don't think it was too expensive to buy actually as well. Let's just have a quick look on the map. How much was it to buy this? It was 233,000. Um, and again, it just adds something else into the game. Makes some of the crops a little bit more relevant. Gives you something different to have a go at and try out. So uh, there you go. What we'll do now is cut back to your regularly scheduled uh, programming. And there you go. I think it's cool. I think it's a, it's a really nice addition. I, I think it's brilliant. Continuing on. What I'm going to do is head down this road to the next point. I may chop a little bit out and then I'll show you where we are on the map when we get there. Travis, I don't want to not show you everything, you know, um, but there is a huge amount to get around. Back out onto the road. Over the river. And we're at Fertinella. So this is the next sell point. This is sell point for slurry and manure. So if your animals are producing too much, slurry and manure you can get rid of just here. I do I love all the detailing on the road on the floor, you know. You can see, you know, obviously, you can see where vehicles have been in and out. You know, I know they haven't actually been in and out, but you know what I mean. Access that forest is up there because you're going to need to go up and the river runs past. But 
you come up from this end and the forest is huge absolutely no shortage of forestry if that's your thing it might not be and if it's not you don't have to do any um, but it is just there continuing on This is the sawmill, for all intents and purposes. It says carpent was carpentier, was it actually down as... It says to carpentry on there. Um, so you've got your lumber cell point just there. A wood chip cell point just there. I personally would rather turn my wood chips into compost now and make more money doing it. Um, because if we have a quick look at prices for... Where's our wood chip price? Uh carpentry 118 for wood chips if we go along to the end to the compost price at Fertinella compost is going for 1004 I haven't actually I don't own the thing here at the moment do I but that's already way better isn't it 1004 compared to what is it 118 did I just say 118 <laughs> that's a no brainer spend the time do the wood chipping put it into the compost thing and make a load of money. Oh, looks like there's been an issue here. We'll swing around. Oh dear. It's been a crash. So, this is actually a bit of a shortcut anyway. It will cut off the corner. If you look down the bottom of the mini map, there's a little roundabout. The road carries on around. We're going to cut this whole corner off. We're going to head up to the first of the biogas plants that we're going to look at. And the pigs, as I showed you earlier on, where the animals were. Now, I'm not going to go around all of the animals, needless to say, once you've bought the land they are there. Your points for feed, water, straw, you know, sometimes on certain maps and stuff it takes a little bit of fiddling around to find the actual points for each of those things. But I will say Shabra FS is pretty cool and uh, um, making that clear. Nice flat area there for a placeable if you want to buy that. That little plot's not too expensive either and it is billiard table flat. So there's your little pig farm, and like I say, you need to buy it. It's only about 90 something grand, did I say? What did I say it was? 97, something like that. 93,000 to buy that. So, first of the biogas plants. This is the more expensive of the two. But it will take sugar beet here as well. And this is a really interesting one. And I like the fact it's different. It's not just a plonk down, here's a biogas plant. <clears throat> you've got ramps and stuff, you've got two big bunker silos. But what's great about this, well, I think it's great, you may hate. <laughs> um, it just makes you work for it, which I think, you know, there's nothing wrong with that at all. Unless with an ingenious system of belts and stuff. Your digestate tank is just down there to the side. But your digester for actually putting your silage in once it's fermented is over here so there's a wall there's a dip it comes down you, you can't just you know take it out load take it out load you've actually got to drive around and do a bit you know you've got to do a bit of work um i like it very cool let's get back out of here Everything's really nicely signposted. It's, it's very well done. So we are now on the southern part of the map. We're heading west. Coming up on the next of the cell points. So we're at Fertinella. This one is Fertilan. Again, we've got loads of buy points. So we can buy lime... We can buy um, fertiliser. We've got a cell point here for... Uh, was it grass? I think it's grass and straw at this one, isn't it? Was it hay and straw? We've got a purchase point for pig food. We've got a purchase point for our liquid fertiliser. And did I miss... The, is there a herbicide one here? Did I miss the herbicide tank? It might not be herbicide, this one. But yeah, we can buy everything else. I don't know if there's seed at this one either. I don't think there's a seed point at this one. Now, I'm not going to drive that way, north. But if we just have a quick look at the map, 
we are all the way down here now so we kind of come all the way around we cut across this bit here we come up the hill done the biogas plant we're at fertile land now if you follow down there as you might remember from the previous map this is where the cow pasture is um, so when you buy it that's where the cows will be same thing again you've got your feed trough your water trough place for straw uh, liquid um, uh, slurry manure it's all there um, so what we're going to do is we're going to head left And at the end of here is where the sheep farm is. Lovely river. Again, we're up high. There's a water point just behind us. Just over there for buying water if you don't want to place your own one. The sheep farm is just there to the left. Again, you need to buy it and own it to be able to use it. And as we come around, we come to the second of the farms. You've kind of seen part of it already. It's very much like the other one. It is split across the road, which I like. You've got your uh, slurry tank and manure just over there. We've got all the storage, the same as the other one, potato, fertilizer, um, various different storage silos, um, bunkers, you know, it's all here, but you do need to own it to be able to use it. Main silo is just there. Lime, fertiliser, milk. It's all here. But again, you need to turn the machines on and off to be able to get them to work. Come back out onto the road and come down a bit further. Again, this is a split level. You can go around from the back as well. We're kind of a split level farm. Chickens off to the left there. So you do get another chicken farm if you buy this one. So as you've already seen, that's where you can be producing your flour from, around that side. I kind of showed you that bit already. We've got another big silo here for storing pig food. Pig food chaff and compost, if you want to do that. And we've got a seed storage tank. Just there. I know it's a bit of a whistle stop. Now if you do buy this, you do get, I think you get another farmhouse you can sleep through the night just over here. I think it's this building here. Here, if I remember correctly, but you do get a second one, and we need to continue on because we've got loads to see. And your egg point is just there for the chickens on this side. Like I say, everything's posted. There, there are nice, clear signs. It's not going to be too difficult to work out. But I just thought we'd uh, get round. Next of the sale points. This is Cooperative El Labaca. Oh, this is La Lintz one. So the sell point is just here. And we do have a couple of buy points. Oh, it might just be the pigs in this one, actually. We've got pig food buy point just there. Yeah, just pig food on this one. There we go. So that's El Lintz. Or Lintz, uh, could be. There's a brilliant bit of agroforestry, again, just tucked away in here, look. You can see it on the map. But you've got this bit here where you've got the lines, rows between, and the trees growing. Kind of like an orchard, but I just love it. It's, great. it's a great detail, it's just a nice touch to add in. So as we come round into this little village now, we've come down off a, is that an escarpment as such, I suppose? Maybe it is an escarpment. Round to the sides here, we've got the textile, uh, kind of textile factory, which is for all intents and purposes your spinnery for your wool and your cotton cell point. That's just round here. So we have now come past the farm, down past Cooperative Lintz, around the bottom we're at the textile industry, we're going to go across the river, fuel station, grain station, there's a couple things to look at here, um, I'm, just, I'm just blown away by how much stuff there is in this, I completely forgot about the geo, that could be the rice problem, oh, I couldn't figure out why there was no rice, but it could well be that I haven't got the geo installed. Anyway, 
carrying on towards the roundabout. We've got another fuel station on our left hand side as we cross the river. Just there. And on the roundabout itself, we've got the first of, and these are a little bit peculiar. It's another explanation as to the slot count, um, but I'll get onto that in just a second. I'm going to do this one. Actually, I'm going to do this. These. I'll do these first. Why not? So, this says sheep farm, and what I like about this is that these are sell points for particular crops. So it kind of simulates the fact you're supplying other farmers around the area. So you bring things here. Now, what is also fantastic is, it's like a livestock market too. And you've actually got animated animals. Like I say, it probably is what pushes the slot count up a little bit. But rather than just have static things just sitting, you've actually got sheep here. If I come to this point here and click on it, I can buy, sell, load or unload. So if I want to simulate coming here to buy my sheep from an actual sheep farmer to do my own, I can. But what they also want is grass. So this is somewhere you can come to sell it. Is it grass or hay? Hang on, let me just check. So we are at the sheep farm. We go down to the bottom. Sheep farm, scroll across. That's hay, isn't it? I think it is. Um, so you're supplying them with, if you want to sell that there, but you can also buy your animals. And what you've also got across the road here, we've got another stables. Now I don't think there are any horses on this one out. But if you come to here, you've got a buy, sell, load or unload point there for horses. So you can, again, you can simulate coming to buy your horses from somewhere rather than just one livestock market that does them all. They're kind of spread out across the map. It adds some more buy points. It adds something a little bit more interesting, I guess. It's just it's just something different, you know. And I love the fact it's animated. So, continue on from here. So we're now heading kind of northwest-ish. We have got Cooperativa El Barbaco, which is just here. Again, we can buy seed here. You've got the sell point. I think it might just be seed, or we've got fertiliser around this one as well. Or oh, herbicide at this one. So we can buy herbicide and we can buy seed at this one. The sell point itself is just tucked in there. If we come out and around the back of here, let's get this right. We've got the hay point. Oh, sorry. So another cell point just up here. And again, it's all split. It's not just one cell point for everything. Oh, one thing I will point out uh, here. Look at this cobbled floor. Under landscaping on the ground textures, this is one of the ground textures. This kind of cobbled paving. I love it. It's a brilliant texture. Um, so we've got... Uh, where are we? Just around here... So we've got a sell point for hay bales, and we've got a sell point for loose hay. So you can do it loose or baled. And then up the top here, we've got a sell point for loose straw or straw bales. So whichever way around you want to do it. Um, so where are we now on the map? We have come from here, the sheep farm, farm and grain elevator, all up here to Cooperative El Barbaco. We're now at Haystack. There's Biogas North and then the swine livestock we're going to whiz up to. Come on, come on, come on, run faster. I've got, I've got lots to show. What I'm going to do, we should go out into the main road really to go around the back of here, but I'm going to nip across the grass. Don't tell anyone. So, biogas north. This is the cheaper of the two biogas plants. This was 199,000, I think just over 199,000. This one is a little bit easier to use, I think, than the other one. This is not kind of split level. Which I suppose makes things a little bit easier. I love these ramps and loading points as well. Digestate tank is just the left hand side there. The digester is there, which is actually right in front of the bunker silos on this one. So if you're going to do it and you want an easier, a bit of an easier ride at making your silos, potentially this is the one to go for, I think. So that's Biogas North. And then we're going to head 
up on the main road. I think I'm probably going to cut across the grass again. Yeah. Should go onto the main road, but I'm going to cut across here just for the sake of time. Onto this road here. And we're going to head out to the northwest corner of the map. So this is the same as the one with the sheep we just saw and the horses we just saw. This is a pig farm. Um, and you deliver stuff here. It's a sell point. But you can come up here and you can buy, sell, load or unload from here. And you've got animated pigs out in the, you know, out in their little pig side. You've got chickens wandering around. It's brilliant. It makes it feel very lived in. It makes it feel like it's a it's a working area. You know, there's stuff going on. Um, so you can deliver potatoes, sugar beet, and corn here. Uh, some of the things they request, and they also have. I'm trying to think what it was. This one it was wheat. Was it just wheat? Was it wheat and barley? Let's have a check. Better to check. So we are at swine livestock. Let's go back across. So at Swine Livestock, they will take um, wheat and barley. They will take corn, potato and sugar beet. I don't think they'll take anything else of the other crop types, I don't think. No. So up here, so again, you're providing this particular pig farmer with particular crops. And he's running his own pig farm. So in essence, it's just a sell point, but it just makes it a little bit more immersive. Very cool indeed. Right, what I'm going to do now is we'll do a bit of a jump because we are going to go from here at the swine livestock back down the road we just came along back past all this back past the roundabout all the way across here we're going to whiz very quickly down to cooperative el reynoso then we're going to do livestock la coronella those should be the last two i think because we did those at the start um i hope so i don't think i've missed anything there are a few fields up the top here more forestry like i say the forests 316,000. There's a few bits of forestry knocking about. There are some plots you can't buy. Then these are the escarpments, and there's, there's no point really owning them. You, you can't do anything with those plots of land. So I'm going to jump back in the pickup, and I'll see you over there in a moment. So turning, oh, that was close. Turning right down here, we come to the last of the cooperatives, isn't it? Yep. And this is your sugar beet sell point. This is the one that is specifically for sugar beets. So we have one for potato, one for sugar beet. I don't think there's nothing you can buy from this one. But there you go, there's sugar beet sell point, just tucked in there. Those augers are massive. The cow farm, if you decide to buy it, is just across there, just the other side of the river. You can just see the buildings through there. Like I said, I showed you on the map earlier where it is, but that's where it is, just tucked through there. So we're going to come back up now, take a right. And we're going to go to Livestock La Coronella. Now, there you go, We've got the nice big bull there. But this is the same thing again. This is kind of, in essence, the cow farm. Just jump that. So we can buy from here as well. Load, unload, whatever you want to do. Animated cows in the field. It's absolutely brilliant. Actually, what I will do is whiz across here because the other, side, ooh, the other side of here is where the sell point is, the actual sell point. That's just a livestock buy point. Um, so rather than just one set livestock market, we've got them all. Got them all split all over the place, which I think is a nice touch. I like that. So anyway, there's your sell point. Um, this one will take hay, it will take straw, and it will take silage here. So this particular sell point, this cattle farmer is requesting those things to be supplied and I think that's all the sell points if I just check the map pretty sure fertile and carpentry we did all of that went around there up to there sheep farm up to the top we did sugar at the start so we are now here we're going to jump back in the pickup and then we'll head back up to the main farm um oh done I didn't do the supermarket did I I did potatoes, I did the distribution centre, I missed out the supermarket. I do apologise, I missed out the supermarket. It is what it is. I'm sure I've probably missed something else as well. There's going to be something really important. Um, but I think you'll agree. <laughs> there 
there's a lot going on on this map. So much detail, so much to do. The extra crop types, the extra production with the cheese, the flour, the sunflower oil. I think it's brilliant. Um, I, I really honestly do believe, hand on heart, it's, it is probably worth the trade-off in slots. Um, I don't often say that. I'm normally a bit of an advocate for a low slot count on a map. Uh, but I think it's worth it. That's just my own personal opinion. I love the detail. I love what's going on. And we're coming back round up to the main farm. Just now. And there you go. So, this is the new map. Now remember, if you, if you want to have all this um, stuff you can do, you need to do the one that's not seasons ready. If you want to do seasons, then obviously you won't get access to all of the five crop types and you won't be able to make your cheese, your flour, or your sunflower oil. Um, so that's that's another a small-ish trade-off, I think, personally. And that's it. We're back at the main farm, up on the hill. That's La Coronella by Shabba FS. Brilliant new map. Like it. I hope you like it too. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. As always, thanks for watching.